electromagnetic therapy. Um, and we have Kim Michaels right now joining us from Estonia. And Kim will be talking about the return of our karma. Welcome, Kim Michaels. Thank you. Okay. So talk to us, Kim, about what we, what's happening and what we can do. Well, I, got, I received a, a discourse back in April, actually, from the Ascended Master Mother Mary, who talked about this. And what she said was that we have been through an age where these big force-based uh, empires have been allowed to rise, like the Soviet Union specifically, she was talking about. Mm -hmm. And this was because we had to be allowed to see the extremes of how far this force-based violent mindset can go and what it can actually create. And what she said is that there is normally a karmic law that when you use force, when you violate other people's free will, you will have a return of your karma. But that return was delayed, uh, including for the Soviet Union, because of this need to show how far it could go. The same thing actually happened for the Nazi Empire and Hitler. Mm -hmm. And she says that this will no longer be allowed. And she specifically talked about Russia and their aggressions in Ukraine and said that there will be a very swift return of the karma they are generating, the force-based impulses they are sending out. Mm -hmm. And this was in April she said this, and I think that we can all see that the yeah. downing of this airliner in eastern Ukraine mm -hmm. was really a return. Yeah of what they had sent out, because I don't think that Putin and the Russian leadership had imagined that somebody in eastern Ukraine would use their weapons to shoot down an international airliner. Yeah. And I think actually this has made them pause and at least delay an invasion, which may come anyway, but it has certainly been delayed, I feel. Yeah. Well, I've seen, cer certainly seen the uh, return of karma with us as individuals, y you know, even, and also the manifest, the manifestation principle speeding up. It's like, you're, I'm thinking thoughts and whoa, okay. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm doing my best to keep my thoughts and uh, desires as positive as possible, because it's definitely palatable. Yeah, well, I think the, the, uh, there's always an alpha and an omega to everything. Mm -hmm. And I think that those of us who have transcended at least some of this force-based mindset, we can actually see a, a positive wave of where we mm -hmm. have, a, like you said, a quicker manifestation of what we desire and the vision we have. Yeah. But if we, if we still have some unresolved things that we have not been willing to look at, then I think they will come out in more and more extreme measure. So it's really just a matter of forcing us to look at these things that stand in the way of our growth. It's not a punishment in any yeah. way. Yeah, and I'm looking at all of them as opportunities for healing as they're coming up. And of course, you know, I've been working very hard with your books on the chakra healing, with the information from Ellen Dosick and her as a therapist. And that's why I brought on Dr. Gabor today because um, the technology that he has is really, really, I, I think like it's divinely being given to us to help accelerate our healing. So I, I think we need integrative approaches um, to and all, all the help from everywhere. Um, what's your thoughts? On I that? agree with you, 100 percent. Yeah. So well, I, uh, the ascended yeah. masters have have said that we are going into a period here now where we will need a completely different approach mm -hmm. to everything, to healing. including healing. And mm -hmm. the the approach that we have had is really a force based approach. You know, we we approach the body as if it was a machine, and when something breaks down. We are seeking to destroy what's breaking it down and often destroying the body in the process. Yes. Um, and, you know, we, I, I just, I can feel and, and see, you know, when you're open to new ideas that, I mean, they just come, you know, out of nowhere, like um, my introduction to Dr. Gabor's um, therapy and, you know, your material, it's, it's like that old axiom, um, you know, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear, and when you ask, it is actually given to you. Yes, I agree, and that's just a matter of being open. And, and oftentimes, I think we ourselves are the ones who are delaying it, 
because in order to heal, there, there's something in our own psychology that we have to be willing to look at. And if we're not willing to look at it, then the teacher can't appear to us. A or absolutely. Maybe the teacher does appear, but we don't see it. Yeah. So I think we do have to be willing to, um, you know, go into that dark space. Um, uh, Kim, I'd like for you to um, stay on the air while Dr. Gabor is on. Um, and we'll, sure. I'll bring you on at the end of the show. Okay, you're listening to Divine Love Talk on CRN. I'm your host, Dr. Parthenia Grant, and I'm so delighted to be here with you today to, sh to share this new information that Dr. Gabor will have for you after commercial break. Okay, I'm back with more of Divine Love Talk on CRN. I'm your host, Dr. Parthenia Grant, and I'm so delighted to have Dr. Gabor in studio today. He's from Hungary on his way out of the country and um, I'm very grateful that he was willing to come in studio to talk to us about the use of BRT which stands for bioregulation therapy which is a new modality of PEMF PEMF, which is pulsed electromagnetic um, field. field therapy. Um, it, it can be used to balance our meridians, our chakras, to manage pain and inflammation, to deal with physical and psychological disorders. And the psychology department at UCLA uses it to manage pain and for psychological disorders. So welcome, Dr. Gabor. And would you tell us a little bit about your background before we get started? Good morning. I'm working in this field, what we call in science, electromagnetic biocommunication for the last uh, 30 and some years. And uh, we develop basically technologies to help synchronization processes in the cells, between the cells, in organs, between organs. So it's a very new approach. We help normal functioning of the body. We use it in big rehab rehabilitation centers. We do basic research. And uh, 20 years ago, 20 some years ago, we started to publish about uh, use of, of this technology in immunology, in oncology, neurology, and also in the intensive care department, beside of using it very widely in Europe for top sport, in Olympic sport we use it, and basically all Olympic athletes uh, benefit from this approach for performance optimization. So you can imagine that you recover really much, much faster and uh, you can really go until your limits with this technology. You can use it between competitions after every training, when you travel, you adapt easier to new environment. Yeah, you, and you have um, a, a, a travel uh, model that's very small and you, you might want to talk about that, the adaptation. So one of the very important application is to help the central nervous system to adapt to new environments. When for you for travel, jet lag, right? When you travel, uh, you experience something commonly called jet lag, uh, which is the difficulty of the central nervous system to adjust to new time zone, uh, to adjust to new climates, uh, climatic conditions, which is uh, the difficulty also to uh, change altitude and uh, every electromagnetic micro environment of our planet is different. So your central uh, nervous system has to adjust and this is something very important that when you arrive and even during travel, you adjust to the different new environments. So yeah. some people before had a difficulty to adjust and it took two, three weeks. Nowadays, you don't have the time yeah. to stay or to arrive two, three weeks earlier just to wait until your central nervous system adjusts. So we have a small portable unit which helps you and certainly within two hours you adjust to the new environment. You don't feel this jet lag effect. And that's pretty amazing, and it's very, very reasonably tr uh, priced. So I think, you know, every traveler needs one, but I, I think also that every student needs one because you have a model that, that helps with uh, concentration and clarity, mental clarity. Um, so um, I, I also want to add that um, Dr. Gabor's background is in um, natural... Um, well, beside of basic research I, I also practice as a naturopathic doctor and uh, uh, have a master in psychology so 
I'm working also with the Olympic teams, and uh, I'm responsible for performance optimization. Basically, we do everything that the synchronization processes in the metabolic activity, synchronization processes in the nervous system, and, and in general, in all communication and synchronization processes in the body run optimum, on, on, a, on its optimum. Yeah. Well, now my understanding as a layman uh, in talking with Dr. Gabor yesterday is that what this field does that you create, it, it creates an, another network so that the, the cells can communicate uh, whenever there's a blockage due to trauma, emotional trauma or physical trauma. Could you explain that? Well, basically, we have a very, very large number of cells and our cells have a very, very, very rapid metabolic activity. In average, every cell uh, carries out, performs more than 100,000 different things per second. So they have to synchronize it. Uh, these synchronization processes need a very precise information transfer. So whenever you have uh, emotional or psychological stress, you have environmental stress, you have toxic substances in your body, maybe from the environment yeah. or just from metabolic activities and the metabolic waste materials are not completely eliminated, then these communication processes are influenced, so the quality is much less. We have a technology, it's like a wireless communication system, and then we have to transmit your own signal. So it is a complete new uh, application of uh, electromagnetic fields we don't do it for heating up the cells. We don't do it to send mandatory signals. We certainly don't do it to generate action potentials or the opposite to shut off action potentials in the nerves. So we have the natural communication processes of the cells, of the tissues, of the organs. So for example, your digestion can run much better. You produce exactly those enzymes you need to digest the food you eat because all the different tissues participating in the process of digestion can exchange sufficiently information. So this is supporting natural information transfer. Well, that's what I, I really enjoy about Dr. Gabor is that he's a he's trained in Qigong, um, metaphysics, um, meditation, um, and and so his technology takes a a holistic approach to healing. You know, both physical, mental, and emotional bodies. And um, talk about the um, harmony you know device that yeah. you have for so, for a therapist. Just to comment on this, we have to understand that. Modern physics understands spirituality. It is not anymore like disconnected from our right. work. Right. And we understand that everything depends on motivation, everything depends on a basic networking. When you have a very tired moment at the evening and then you get a phone call that a friend just arrived to town, mm -hmm. you have immediately enough energy to yeah. go out and chat two hours with this friend. Right. Or it can happen the opposite. You are fine until you receive a call from the school of your child, and then you feel like completely weak, you have to sit down, mm -hmm. you don't know what to do. So basically, tiny information changes or information uh, uh, pieces can disconnect or can reconnect the whole network of your electromagnetic biocommunication. Right. So what we understand that communication is basically everything. And that's why we also created new devices now. And these devices can specifically help also in, in smaller clinics or at home to overcome emotional conflicts, to overcome depression, to overcome basically all those difficulties which we can call like lack of motivation. Mm -hmm. So this is very important to understand your motivation depends on the network quality. Once your network functions better, you have enough motivation, you have basically none of those psychological problems you usually fight with, struggle with every day. Mm -hmm. So the Harmony device is specifically for this use that you don't have to have the complete professional set. 
you can just use a specific device which has 12 dedicated protocols and these protocols help simultaneously on four different channels different activities of the body so general communication activities the heart uh, communications uh, let's say uh, role is 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 always in in priority and then what is very important the circulatory system right. and also the digestive system is supported because if you have any kind of disorder, low level inflammatory processes in, in your digestive system, this will influence the entire organism. Yeah. Well, Vanessa got to experience um, some program that you put on her yesterday that opened up her heart. Um, can, you want to come and just, I want Vanessa to talk about very quickly her experience with the heart opening. Um, well, it was really amazing. Um, I pretty much felt really comfortable at first and then slowly I began to feel really heavy and I was kind of going in and out of sleep but I felt so like rested yeah and I don't think I've ever gotten any sleep like that <laughs> and I had actually had a dream about you Dr. Grant oh. <laughs> I saw your skirt like swishing around and all that stuff I'm like that's not her but it was warm and it was really inviting and it was like almost like a sense of like like love like just yeah. surrounding me and after I was done, I was like, I don't want to leave this energy field. I want to get back <laughs> right back in it. Yeah, and, and yeah. when you had the machines going, two of them, and I just stepped, you know, in a line, and I felt this wave of love, and, and my daughter Crystal said the same thing. It's amazing. So it's powerful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, what is very important to understand that we have it inside. It is not disappeared. It is not gone. You just don't have the access. So yeah. once we have this communication network, you feel complete again. So this is when you feel, oh, I can do anything. So right. this is yeah. when we yeah. speak about performance, op performance yeah. optimization. Right. You can do anything. You can use your muscles. Mm -hmm. and, and believe me, that's why we see every day that in top sport, in Olympic sport, people can do every day new personal best because this makes you well synchronized and this is the key in life yeah and let me tell you um we could all use a bit of that right <laughs> i know i i've been um just um stressed out and suffering for um a long time and and what i like about dr gabor's approach as well is that he's he's up on the diet uh, raw food nutrition um, and, and he doesn't uh, look at anything uh, from a disconnected standpoint, that you have this great um, uh, higher perspective, that this big macrocosm. Yeah, once we understood that DNA and membranes can <clears throat> really regenerate, and if not, they give uh, the space uh, for a new cell generations, then we understood that okay but for this regeneration process you have to have the good nutrients yes so eating well is very important because you rebuild you reconstruct every moment of your life mm -hmm. a couple of millions of cells so it is very important that you have all the right nutrients it is also very important that the right nutrients reach the cells yes. so that your connective tissue is good your peripheric circulation functions very well and that's why you have to be in a kind of easy relaxed work mode because otherwise through the vasoconstriction you don't get the nutrients you may eat them you may eventually absorb them but they don't reach the cells so it is very important for us that the network functions very well on every level and then you really get all the new nutrients you can always rebuild your cells so basically this is also a perfect anti-aging approach yeah we see from bio biophysical and, and bio cybernetic point of view that anti-aging depends on this communication network exactly so dr gabor um what's the name of of the system it's l uh, the L this is the lenyo brand we lenyo l-e-n-y-o correct l-e-n-y-o yes. yes the lenyo brand uh, there there are a lot of um p-e-m-f devices out there but the lenyo um in in my opinion because i i've been trying um quite a few of them um 
it definitely has met my needs, and, and I think that it, it has a technology that is just absolutely amazing. So I definitely wanted to mention the name of yeah. your brand. So once again, bioregulation means we help your natural regulation mechanism. You have to synchronize all these different biological activities you carry out. You have a very large number of cells, so it's, it's about 100 trillion cells in a human body, and they are extremely busy. So communication and synchronization is very, very important. And to support these key processes is the goal. So we use electromagnetic fields just for information transfer. So basically, your own biological information is through a carrier wave, well distributed and available for every cell of your body. Now this is the key that all cells know about what, the, what, what do the other cells do, otherwise they cannot adapt to this. So right. adaptation needs information. I don't know about something, I cannot adapt. Right. So this is key that every cell knows well what the other cells do. You have any kind of injury, inflammatory processes, you have any kind of scar tissue, are just again just emotional stress and this communication is not functioning well but yeah. with this wireless support the information is available everywhere so we create a tiny field around your body or just around the injured area of the body mm -hmm. and then all the cells in this field know about the other cells so they can adapt they can synchronize the regeneration activities so they function really much much better so this is the biological coherence coherence which is increased well um, and the proof is in the pudding so that's why I had to purchase my own machine <laughs> and and I'm uh, encouraging anybody who is in pain or depressed or dealing with uh, chronic disease to um, check out the L-E-N-Y-O Lenyo system and um, hey <laughs> you don't know until you try it we'll be back with more of divine love talk after commercial break wrapping this up thank you for joining us on divine love talk i'm your host dr parthenia grant and um, you've been speaking with dr gabor from lenyos okay we're back wrapping this up on divine love talk i'm your host dr so delighted to have Dr. Gabor in studio with me. Um, Kim Michaels, are you still with us? Yes, I am. Okay. So, Kim, um, I don't know if any of that made any sense to you, but um, did, did any of that information resonate with you? Yes, yeah, sure. I'm very excited about this because the masters have been saying for a long time that vibrational medicine is one of the really big fields that are coming up in the next couple of decades. And, and I truly believe that um, it ultimately it's going to, um, oh, in the medical profession, and we're going to hear this, but ultimately that's the kind of medicine, you know, because everything is energy and then energy balancing. Um, that's the direction that we should be headed in. Um, that's my personal belief. And also the consciousness. Oh, I agree with you. Yeah, and the consciousness about food. So, Kim, um, the I remember how you were jet lagged when I met you. So, I I am going to gift you one of the travel devices and you, you want to tell him about um, all the other things that the travel device will do very quickly yeah travel device helps circulatory activities central nervous system activities and basically adaptation to new environment but also to balance central nervous system because when we are traveling we are by far m more nervous than usual yeah and also what is very important that you can sleep a little bit on the plane, that you can relax, switch off, and uh, also when you arrive, you can just detox. Because in those days when you travel a lot, you need more detox activities. What we have to understand that biophysics produced in the entire 20th centuries new approaches. Now we have a lot of imaging technology and we use in diagnostics basically everything based on biophysics. So also a simple blood or a simple urine test is based on vibrational properties mm -hmm. of your blood or, or of your urine. But now we can also use it in the treatment or in the prevention. You don't have to wait until you are ill. You can just 
keep an optimum performance of the functioning of your nervous system, hormonal system, digestive system. So you don't have to wear glasses, for example. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on that program. <laughs> and then we have more and more people who understand you can just normalize, optimize, again, your vision acuity. Mm -hmm. So this is a very new approach because biophysics or modern technology makes us really ready to help our body. We alienated a little bit from our body during the 20th century, and now we return to understand the natural wisdom of the body. We understand the blueprint information of DNA, of the membranes, and all the wisdom they have, and we help that they can manifest this wisdom. So this is key to understand that modern science rediscovers holistic approach. I love that. Uh, it's about time. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, you've been listening to Divine Love Talk on CRN. Um, I'm so grateful to Dr. Gabor for joining us in studio and Kim Michaels for you joining us via Skype um, in Estonia. Kim Michaels is my co-host, and he writes a lot of incredible books. Um, I'd like for you guys to meet each other at some point. Thank you, Kim, for joining us. And, um, yeah, thank you. Thank all of you for joining us, and we'll be back next week with more of Divine Love Talk on CRN. I'm your host, Dr. Parthenia Grant. Check out the Lenyo system and Dr. Gabor's work. Thank you, Parthenia. Thank you.